Hello everybody, it's Mr. Q again. What's up? I hope you guys are staying safe and having fun. Today we're going to talk about some of the potential differences of living in America compared to where you might be living. You're going to learn at least 10 things about that today. So, feel free to take some notes, pay attention, let's get into it. Probably one of the biggest differences between living in America and in other places is where you live. And what I mean by that is, do you live in an apartment or do you live in a house? Unless you live in a big city in America, and what I mean by big city is New York, mostly, <laughs> pretty much you have two options, an apartment or a house. But New York is the only place in America where they have large buildings, skyscrapers even, that are dedicated to being apartments. Yes, there are apartment buildings throughout America and all the cities, but we don't generally make skyscrapers out of them. We don't usually make these buildings 50 stories tall. So usually these are smaller communities of apartments. And you don't usually buy apartments in America unless you live in a bigger city usually. Usually you only rent an apartment. And those apartments could be any size from one room where basically you walk in and you, ha you, s you see the, your closet, your kitchen, and your bedroom is all basically in one room and then you have a restroom next to that. And you can have apartments that are as big as houses, or you might have three to five bedrooms and multiple bathrooms. And it just kind of depends on your budget, and it depends on whether or not you want to be responsible for your apartment and or your house. Do you want to be responsible for the upkeep? Do you want to be responsible for making repairs that, ha that need to be done? If you have an apartment and you are renting the apartment, you have somebody who is responsible to make those repairs for you. If you live in a house and you're owning the house, then you are responsible for those repairs. And even if you're renting the house, oftentimes you're still responsible for most of the repairs in your house. So yes, you can rent a house, and sometimes renting a house can be a similar cost as to renting an apartment, but sometimes that means, like I said, that you have to be responsible. The cool thing about rent, having a house is that most houses come with some sort of yard. You may get a front yard and a backyard. So you have a little bit of land in front of your house and a little bit of land behind your house. And I'd say maybe that's the biggest difference between having an apartment and a house is how much land do you have attached to your personal residence. So I wanted to take you guys on a tour of my house that I'm staying in now. I'll start with the front yard and you guys can see how in my front yard there isn't much or any grass. Well, we live in the desert and it's very dry. So it's expensive to have grass in your yard because it takes a lot of water to sustain that. And you can see the other yards, the other yards have a similar style that have rocks and other things to make their yard beautiful but don't have grass. They might have other plants like we have a big tree there and some shrubs over there, right? And here's our door 
And we can come into the house. Many houses have a little entryway. And here's a little office and workout area. <laughs> we come into the house and we have the living room where we can watch TV. And here's some pets. And here is Bubba and Sissy. Oh, hey, yeah, bye, everybody. Hey, everybody. How's it going? And we continue. And many houses have multiple rooms, bedrooms. This house has three bedrooms and a couple of bathrooms. Of course, most ho all houses will have some sort of kitchen. There's the dining room. There's the kitchen where we can make stuff. There's our laundry room where we clean our clothes. Many people in America have a washer and a dryer, which means they don't have to hang their clothes outside. They can just use that to dry their clothes. Like I said, many people have garages where their car can live, but you can see this garage. We have things living here instead of a car. There's one of my parents, Tim. He's doing some work on a creating uh, something for the house. So he's doing some wood working to make a stand, I think. And then you, you can see how the garage in this house is kind of in the back of the house. So many of people have their house, their garages in the front or side of their house. And then here's the backyard. So you can see that we have multiple yards. There's our grill. It's all covered up. Nice place to sit when it's a beautiful sunny day. No clouds or wind. It's very nice outside. And we have plants and trees and things. And you can see the driveway and Big trucks come around every week at this, for our house on Sundays and they pick up our trash <laughs> and our recycling. And there's one of the tr vehicles that we drive in this house. There's a big old black truck there. So, and we have a couple other cars that come to the house. My mom's car and, and this is my other parents' car. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this little tour of my house. If you have a yard with your house, you'll be responsible for taking care of the yard. If you have grass, you'll be the one that needs to mow the grass or cut the grass. You'll be the one responsible for the, all the plants in your yard. And the good thing about that though is that you can have a garden in your yard. So not only are you responsible for the plants, you can put your own plants there and you can feed yourself a little bit from that garden. Also, a fun thing to do in your yard, especially in your backyard, is to have a barbecue. So we have these grills that open and close. You have two types of grills. One type uses charcoal or little pieces of wood that you use to fuel to make a fire for your grill and the second type is a gas grill that uses propane these are the two main types of grills that you might find and people with yards tend to have barbecues with those grills and cook up meat and vegetables and they don't have to do all the cooking inside their house in their kitchen. They can do their cooking in their backyard on their grills. So that can be a lot of fun to have few friends over, family over, and have a barbecue with them and have a nice meal.
So, like I said, grilling is a very popular thing in America. So, we have a grill here. Put some meat on there. Have some vegetables. The only thing you have to do is be careful because there is flame down there. So, if your meat is too greasy, it could start a fire. So, you have to pay attention to that and be careful. Here's my parent, Tim, grilling some meat. Of course, renting or buying a house is going to be expensive. It's probably one of the bigger expenses that most people have during the month. And it's going to be very difficult to find an apartment for less than $400 a month or uh, $2,800 RMB. Uh, and typically, it's going to be much higher closer to $800 or $1,000 a month. But of course, you can buy your house, and if you buy a house, it's very difficult to buy a house for under $100,000 or around 700,000 RMB. Um, most houses though, especially if it's an all right house, is gonna cost you closer to $200,000, um, you know, about 1.4 million RMB <laughs> so uh, that can be a big expense but the di one of the big differences though is in America we don't usually buy houses with cash most people in America buy a house by getting a loan from the bank the bank gives them some money and then the person takes the money buys the house and then they have to make a payment to the bank every month so it doesn't really matter usually if you buy or rent in regards to that because either way every month you have to make a payment to somebody whether it be to whoever owns where you live or to the bank because you own it but the bank lent you some money to buy it. So that can be difficult to deal with is having to pay for your house or your apartment every month. It's one of the biggest expenses because not only do you pay the rent, you have to have insurance in case something goes wrong with your house or in case somebody gets hurt in your house. You also have to have to pay for the water that you use. You have to pay for the electricity that you use. You have to pay for the natural gas that you use in your house. There are many expenses associated with your house. And if you're a little bit richer, you might have somebody to come take care of your yard for you. So you don't have to physically go mow your lawn. You will have somebody come and mow it for you. Or maybe you won't physically clean your house. You'll have a maid or somebody come clean your house for you. So these are other expenses that some people might have and everybody has those first expenses when it comes to owning a house. When you have an apartment, sometimes the people who own the apartment will pay some of those things for you. And so those are kind of built in to the cost of your rent. So your rent might be $800 a month, but part of that really is gonna to go to paying for your water, your gas and electric, the sewer, right? Because the water has to go somewhere and whatever you put into the water has to go somewhere. <laughs> oh, I think you know what I mean. So renting and owning Houses in America and apartments in America can be one of those differences between where you live and where we are in America. I hope you guys have enjoyed learning about some of the differences of potentially of living in America compared to where you live. Let's review what we've talked about. We talked about where you might live in an apartment or a house just like you. And we talked about how, unless you're in New York, there are not generally giant apartment buildings 
they the giant buildings in those cities most cities are for businesses not for living we talked about the cost of renting apartments and how how they might cost at least four hundred dollars or twenty eight hundred RMB but probably cost you closer to a thousand or seven thousand RMB we talked about the cost of a house where it to get an okay house, you're going to pay at least $100,000 or 700,000 RMB. And to get a, a nicer house, you might be paying closer to 200,000 or 1.4 million RMB. We talked about having a yard and how people have to take care of their yards and how yards in America are very different. They can have grass or they can have rock. It just depends on where you live. Like where I live in the desert, we have rocks because water is so expensive. And we talked about having a barbecue and cooking some food up in your backyard and having a fun time with your family. So today, I want you to think about where you live. I want you to write down 10 things about where you live and the things that maybe you don't think about on a normal basis and some of the costs of living where you live. And, and if you live in an apartment, how would you feel if you could have a front yard and a backyard? How would you feel about that? Write those things down and then share them with your classmates. All right, guys, that's it for me this time. Be looking forward to part two next time. All right, stay safe. Keep having fun. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.